Hey guys, it's Chris from CoTV, and in this video, we're going to take a look at Zine's theme options. What's really cool about Zine's theme options is that they're completely front end. So this means that as you're changing the options, you get to see an instant preview of everything you're doing before having to save. Not only does this save you time and energy, but it means your visitors won't see a broken site while you're testing different options. But enough with the talking, let's jump straight into it so you can see exactly what I mean and how cool this really is. So now that it's finished loading, we can see that on the left hand side, we have all our different sections with our options. And on the right hand side, we have a preview of our website. And one thing to know about Zine is that for every major type of block, you'll be able to find a section on the left hand side with options for it. So for instance, here we have a grid block and on the left hand side there's a grid section. So let's go inside and have a look. And as you can see, there are loads of options to manipulate how the grid looks and behaves. But let's start from the top and the first few options are to control the title area. And as you can see here, you can choose the location of each title inside the grid. We can also change the background color of the title and the text color. But let's start by changing the background color. So let's play around with that for a bit. And why don't we change it to, how about a bright color like a yellow? Okay, that's probably a bit too bright. It looks a bit like the sun. So let's tone it down slightly with the opacity option. Hmm, okay, I'm not sure I'm feeling this yellow. What do you think, guys? Um, I think I'll just change the color. Maybe let's try something else. How about a red? Maybe a blue, actually. Everyone loves blue, right? Okay, I'll turn the opacity slightly down. And let's leave it there for now, because you can also change it to a solid color. And it's currently set to a bit of a dark color. So why don't we change it to something a lot brighter again? Turn this up. And why don't we make it maybe a maroon? Yeah, I'm happy with that actually. Let's, let's do that. And let's turn the opacity down as well. And we can just leave it there for now. Um, the next option we can look at is the title area touch edges. Now this option may not be completely obvious. So this is when the front end theme options really comes into its own as you can simply click it and see what happens. And as you can see, it controls whether the title area touches the edges of each grid or not. So now moving on, and here we have the image overlay color, which is the color that is on top of the image. And currently it seems to be a darkish gray. So why don't we change that to, let's change it to a color. And we can just play around. I think I'm just going to leave it around, let's leave it just about there. And you can also control the opacity which is here. And you can also control the opacity hover. So when the mouse goes over the tiles, how strong the opacity is, as you can see. And you can also do something quite funky. So you could even turn it all the way up to one, turn the hover to zero, you get this kind of reveal effect. And this is another example of how you can experiment with it all uh, until you find the best combination of options for your content. But for now, I'm just gonna tone it down slightly. And you can actually even add gradients to each tile of the grid, which I'm gonna show you now. You just click here. And you'll see all the options to create our gradients. So let's just start with the first one. As you can see, you can change the color, the opacity, um, and just basically create whatever style or whatever color palette suits your website. So I'm just gonna do some random colors here. But I will turn the opacity up so you can see it more. And before we move on to the next one, I'm just going to say that if you only have one gradient set, then that would apply to all the tiles of your grids. But we can also customize each individual tile. So now let's play around with the next tiles. 
So as I click around, you can see that it's only affecting the second tile in the grid. Um, so let's just give it some more random colors. I'll leave it there. And seeing as the grid has three tiles, let's do the third tile as well. Okay, just do this. Okay, we'll leave it there. And just like before, we have a, an overall opacity and a hover opacity that we can control as well. As you can see, you can change them. And I'll just leave it there for now, as you can see, very beautiful. <laughs> and for our next option, um, similar to one of the options I showed you before, although actually before we do that, I'm just gonna turn off our gradients for one second, just so we can see properly what we're doing. And, and now we can look at the next option, which is called image zoom on hover. And this adds a zoom effect over the images when you put your mouse over them. But as you can see right now, nothing's happening because it's switched off. But if we enable it, you'll see that we get this zoom effect. And this is just another good example of how quickly you can test things. And just below we have the, another option called tile separation. And this option is to control how much spacing is in between each tile of each grid. So as you can see, I can increase it, I can decrease it. Maybe you just leave it, let's just leave it in zero actually, that looks quite nice. And below that we have another option for the visible animation, which is when the grids come into view. And further down we have the options for the elements. So as you can see, you can put it in different locations. You can turn them all on and off. Why don't we add, let's add the read time option. So we give this a click. And there you go. Um, if you'd rather move the elements underneath the title, we can select this option and, and there we have it. You can also change the style if you'd rather. And we have a few options and I'm going to select the, let's go with the icons. And there you have it. So as you can see guys, it's literally that simple and easy to customize and change how the grids look and feel and create something completely unique for your own website, which is really what it's all about. So why don't we move on to something else? Um, I'll give you another example. How about, I'll show you the top bar message. So this feature is a really handy little feature really because it allows you to display a message at the top of your website um, where you can share news, you can encourage a call to action, or if you'd like to promote something, for example, a Patreon link, or if you have a shop, maybe you can, in, you can promote a coupon um, or anything like that, really. And it's really, really handy. So let's, let's explore it. So first thing we need to do is enable it and we get all the options. And as you can see, the bar is currently at the top now, um, but it doesn't have anything in it. So why don't we write a little message? Um, look at me, I'm a message <laughs> and now we can change the background color, we can change it to any color we'd like, we can change the font size or the spacing to make it taller. And of course we can also give it a link to make it clickable. And, and of course we can change the text color as well. And finally we have this option here, which if you hover over to the little tip, you'll see that it says, if a visitor closes the element, this will add a cookie to stop this element from appearing to the visitor again. And this means that if a visitor clicks on this X button to hide the top bar, 
and this option is enabled, then the user will not see the top bar anymore. And that's that, so let's see now. I think that's probably enough to give you an idea of how everything works. The rest of the options are quite similar, uh, but I will show you one other neat feature actually, and that is that, as you can see, some elements have this tiny blue button next to them. And when you click one, you get sent straight to the option, which is another big time saver. So let's click on the one next to the logo and see what happens. And as you can see, you get sent straight to the logo option so you can quickly change it or remove it. And if we click on the top bar one, which we just added, we get sent back to the top bar options. Cool, huh? At this stage, if you're happy with everything we've done, you can simply click on this publish button up here and that will implement the changes. Um, or alternatively, there's also another little neat feature, which is you can click on this button here and you, as you can see, you have options to save a draft of these uh, changes. So in other words, you can save what you've done and pick it up later on. Or you can even schedule the changes to apply at some point in the future, which can be super handy. So you can set a time and a date and that's when the changes will apply. And on that note, guys, I'm going to leave you here. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I can't wait to see what amazing things you guys do with Zine. Until next time, guys. See ya.